part one. So chapter four, lesson eight, part one. Complex numbers. So today we're gonna to be learning about complex numbers. What makes a number complex is this imaginary unit. So an imaginary number is the square root of a negative number. So we can't have square roots under our, we can't have negative numbers under our square roots because that does not give us a real answer. It gives us an imaginary number, which is this i here. So the i is what makes it imaginary or complex. Another important thing to note from this page is that i squared is equal to negative one. So if you have two i's that are multiplied to each other, it gives you a whole number, which is negative one. So if we take the square root of a negative real number, let's see what we get. So we're doing the same stuff as yesterday, simplifying our square roots, but now we have negative numbers under our square roots. So to get rid of that negative under our square root, we can take it out and turn it into an i. So to simplify this, we have i square root 2. Wait, so when you do this, your answer has to be positive? Right. So you're taking out the negative, but in order to come outside, it turns the negative into an i. Alright, so let's do square root negative 36. So first thing we want to do is take this negative out, make it an i. And then we do the same thing as yesterday. What are factors of 36? 6 and 6. We have a pair of 6's that we can circle and take out. So what would our answer be here? Six, or I, six. 6 comes out of the square root. So it becomes a whole number 6 and then I. So the negative one comes out, turns into an I, and then you always write the I after the number. So it would be 6 I. It wouldn't be I 6. Because this one we couldn't take out anything from our square root. That's why we have to keep the square root with it. But just the square root of 36, we could simplify that into a whole number. All right, let's do the square root of 64, negative 64. So what do we do with this negative? Take it out, change it to an i. And then what are factors of 64? Yeah, factors. Um, eight, and eight. eight and eight. We could circle our eights here since we have a pair, or we could just break it down more. What are factors of eight? Four and two. Four and, two. and then what are factors of four? Um, two and two. Yeah. So we have to circle groups of two. So we have two, two, and two. So how many twos come out? Three twos. So two times two times two times i. What's two times two? Four. four. And what's four times two? Eight. So what would our answer be here? Eight i. Next one, square root of negative 12. What should we do first? Take out the negative, turn it into an i. So now we just have the square root of 12. What are factors of 12? 6 and 2. What are factors of 6? 3 and 2. Do we have any pairs here? We have a pair of two. So what comes outside? The two comes out, because that's what we circled. The I was already out. And then what stays on the inside? 
3. Alright, next one. Square root of negative 54. What should we do first? Take out the negative. And what does it become? An I. What are factors of 54? 9 and 6. What are factors of 9? 3 and 3. What are factors of 6? 3 and 2. What do we circle? Circle the threes. Only two of them, because we can only circle groups of two. Only circle pairs. So what comes outside? Three, and then the I was already outside. What stays on the inside? Three times two. So since we have more than one thing still on the inside, what do we do to those? Multiply, awesome. So this is three I square root, what's three times two? Six. Go for it, guys. All right, last one on this page. What do we do first? Take out the negative. What does it become? An I. What are factors of 32? 8 and 4. What are factors of 8? 4 and 2. And what are factors of 4? 2 and 2. Can we break this down more? Yep. What are factors of 4? 2 and 2. So how many groups of 2 are we circling? 2. We have a pair here, a pair here, and then one left over. So how many 2's come out? 2 of them. But we already have a 2i on the outside. So this 2i came from the outside. And then what do we have that's left on the inside? One, two. Just one, two. What do we have to do next? Uh, multiply, the multiply the two. So it's two times two? Four. four. And then what's four times two? Eight. eight. So we have eight I square root two. We started with a whole number on the outside. So all we did was just make sure that stayed on the outside and included that with our answer. So when you have a whole number on the outside to begin with, you're just gonna multiply that to whatever you, else you take out. What should we do first? Nope. So, two i. We move the negative outside to Take the i outside. Take the negative outside so it becomes an i. So we just have a negative i on the outside. So nothing different that we have to do here. We just have that negative on the outside. It doesn't really affect us in any way. It just hangs out on the outside. What are factors of, neg of 75? Five and what? Fifteen. Twenty-five and three works too. Remember, you can come up with different factors, and you'd get the same answer. So five and fifteen's a good one. Fifteen breaks down into three and five. Do we have any pairs? Pair five. So what comes out? Awesome. So the 5 comes out, but we also have this negative on the outside and an i, so it's negative 5i. And then anything left on the inside? A 3. All right, last one. What do we have to do first here? Take the negative out, and what does it become? An i. Now, what are factors of 27? 9 and 3. And what are factors of 9? 3 and 3. So what do we circle? Circle our 3s. And what comes out? 3. 
but we already have a negative 4i on the outside, so we just multiply that 3 to it. And what stays on the inside? 3. three. How can we simplify the outside here? How do we multiply negative 4 times 3? What do we get? Negative 12. So this is negative 12. Can't forget the i. Square root of 3.